For a long time, the Tesla Semi was treated almost like Tesla's forgotten experiment, something many assumed would remain a low-volume curiosity rather than a real commercial force. Production was tiny, information was scarce, and skepticism from seasoned trucking companies made it seem as if Tesla had thrown this vehicle into the lineup just to show they could make one. But by the time 2025 arrived, the story took a dramatic turn that nobody, not even Elon Musk, anticipated. The truck that many dismissed as unrealistic has now begun surpassing not only its rivals, but even Tesla's own internal expectations. Instead of focusing on the records held by other manufacturers, the Tesla Semi has been quietly smashing its own milestones. As Tesla prepares for a massive manufacturing ramp-up next year, something unprecedented happened. A series of ambitious real-world tests pushed the Semi far beyond what the industry thought electric trucks were capable of. One of those tests, a grueling 3,000-mile trial, proved the Semi wasn't just living up to Tesla's promises. It was outperforming them to such an extent that engineers inside the company were left shocked at how stable, efficient, and durable the vehicle remained throughout the entire journey. DHL, one of the newest companies to get their hands on the Tesla Semi, didn't treat the truck gently. After receiving it, they didn't bother with warm-up demos or friendly publicity clips. Instead, they immediately subjected it to a disciplined, unforgiving two-week evaluation. Their drivers pushed the truck with the full 75,000-pound load on long-distance hauls that even diesel rigs sometimes struggle with. The results surprised everyone. Their engineers publicly admitted that the truck didn't just meet their standards, it shattered them. PepsiCo and SIA drivers had similar reactions. Multiple veteran truckers said that after experiencing the semi, they would prefer to finish their careers in it. What's even more fascinating is that many companies originally intended to use the semi only for short-distance routes. They thought of it as an urban delivery machine, not a true long hauler. But after seeing the performance numbers and experiencing how well it handled 300 to 500 mile routes, businesses began reconsidering entire logistics strategies. When a truck can perform long haul work at dramatically lower operating costs, the economics start rewriting themselves. And with more than 70% of US freight trips falling under 500 miles, the semi has positioned itself as a nearly perfect match for the majority of real-world trucking needs. But the shockwaves don't end there. The upgraded 2026 version is fast approaching with better aerodynamics, reduced weight, improved efficiency, and drastically cheaper manufacturing thanks to Tesla's new Giga Semi production line. Elon Musk has even dropped the eyebrow-raising claim that Tesla might be capable of building roughly 200 units per day once production stabilizes. Many dismissed it as an exaggeration at first, but the deeper you look at Tesla's plans and infrastructure, the more realistic that figure starts to appear. So the real questions now are, how did the Tesla Semi manage to complete a full 3,000-mile trial with such incredibly low energy consumption? How can Tesla realistically scale production to 200 trucks a day when they've built fewer than 500 total since launch? And will the changes coming with the 2026 redesign truly deliver the massive upgrades Tesla is suggesting? For most of its life, the Tesla Semi carried a strange title within the company, Tesla's hardest vehicle. Not the most luxurious, not the most popular, but the most challenging to produce, the most complicated to engineer, and the most heavily doubted by industry veterans. People joked about it online, ridiculed the concept, and confidently announced that no electric truck would ever replace diesel for full-length logistics. But then something shifted, not because of Tesla's marketing, not because of Elon's comments on stage, but because of raw, repeatable data coming from real fleet operators. Take DHL as an example. When they finally got their first Tesla Semi, they didn't ease it in. 
They immediately placed it on an approximately 390-mile route with a maximum load. The truck completed the entire trip using only a single full charge and still arrived with battery remaining, something practically nobody thought would be possible for a vehicle of this size and weight. And that wasn't even the highlight. Over 14 days of continuous testing, the truck covered around 3,000 miles while averaging speeds above 50 miles per hour. Even more astonishing, its energy consumption was measured at roughly 1.72 kilowatt hours per mile, a number significantly better than the 2 to 2.2 kilowatt hours per mile typically reported by other electric heavy trucks. Jim Monkmeyer, the president of transportation for DHL Supply Chain North America, publicly stated that the semi outperformed their expectations and managed to efficiently transport normal freight loads across long distances with ease. Today, DHL uses the semi for routine deliveries of about 100 miles per day despite the vehicle being capable of 500. It only needs a full recharge about once per week and is projected to reduce carbon emissions by roughly 50 tons annually. They plan to add more units to their fleet starting in 2026 once Tesla's output increases. Trucking veterans have echoed these surprising results. At SIA, driver Tom Sturba described the semi as a major technological leap and said he had no desire to return to a diesel truck. He even stated openly that he hoped to retire while driving the semi. Another experienced driver, Michael Davis, volunteered to test the truck the moment it arrived. His verdict was simple. The vehicle never once disappointed him, and its power delivery felt unlike anything he had experienced in his decades on the road. Point one detail many people overlook is how electric trucks frequently reach destinations sooner than diesel trucks. Not because they skip refueling, but because they climb hills dramatically faster. Heavy duty EVs retain torque at all speeds, allowing them to hold 60 miles per hour even on steep grades of 8 to 10 percent. On a thousand mile route, an electric truck can arrive nearly two hours ahead of a diesel competitor. Even with a 40 minute fast charging stop, the total travel time is extremely close but the operating cost is far lower. And with electric trucks lasting two to three times longer, the long-term financial advantage is enormous. The biggest transformation happening behind the scenes, however, is Tesla's manufacturing progress. Until recently, every Tesla semi that existed was essentially hand-built. They didn't have a dedicated production line, let alone a factory built specifically for the semi. They were gathering data, testing improvements, and refining the design quietly. But now that phase is over. Tesla has completed a new facility in northern Nevada dedicated entirely to mass-producing the semi. The new line incorporates automation, optimized assembly processes, and the capacity required to scale far beyond prototype volumes. Tesla's target is staggering. 50,000 units per year beginning in 2026. That works out to more than 4,100 per month, around 960 per week, and roughly 190 to 200 trucks every single day. While that might sound unrealistic for a vehicle with such a complex battery and drivetrain, Tesla has solved most of the bottlenecks that held it back. They now have more reliable access to battery production, a refined structural design, and a manufacturing line configured for scale. Reaching 50,000 per year places Tesla within striking distance of industry giants like Peterbilt, which produces around 60,000 heavy trucks annually. And this next wave of production won't be for prototypes. Every semi coming off the new line will be a full production variant. Tesla has already teased images showing the redesigned 2026 version, featuring a cleaner front end, a simplified bumper for easier repairs, a sleeker roof profile, and a revised windshield. These changes lower the drag coefficient to around 0.33, even better than the previous model's already impressive 0.36.
A small improvement in drag has a massive impact at highway speeds, helping extend range by dozens of miles per charge. Tesla has also worked on reducing the weight of the chassis, bringing the base vehicle below 23,000 pounds. That directly increases payload capacity and improves overall efficiency. Charging speeds will also get a boost. The semi will support roughly 1.2 megawatt ultrafast charging using Tesla's high-power hardware, dramatically reducing downtime for long-distance operators. Battery strategy is another crucial improvement. Tesla plans to offer two versions of the semi, a long-range variant powered by 4680 cells for maximum endurance and a shorter-range version using LFP cells. LFP batteries cost significantly less and last longer, making them ideal for delivery fleets operating within cities or on regional routes. Early estimates suggest the shorter-range semi could be priced around $160,000, making it more accessible for medium-sized transportation companies. But the biggest potential leap isn't in hardware, it's autonomy. Tesla has added a new camera location near the front wheel area, hinting at an expanded sensor suite designed to bring full self-driving to heavy trucks. If Tesla succeeds here, the impact could be enormous. Autonomous trucks could operate almost non-stop, pausing only for charging sessions. Labor costs would drop sharply, deliveries would speed up, and fatigue-related accidents would decrease. Elon Musk has even stated that Tesla could eventually produce millions of semis worldwide and that the truck is expected to be capable of autonomous operation in the future. While that goal is far off, the groundwork is already being laid with every sensor upgrade. Of course, the Tesla Semi isn't a cheap vehicle. Early reports suggest the 500-mile version might cost around $200,000. Although Musk hasn't confirmed this price directly, it aligns with industry expectations. While a typical Class 8 diesel truck costs around $180,000, electric alternatives often exceed $400,000. But the financial picture changes dramatically when you factor in long-term savings. Operating costs tell the same story. Diesel engines require constant servicing, oil changes, belts, filters, transmission work, exhaust maintenance, while electric trucks have far fewer moving parts and rely heavily on regenerative braking, which reduces wear on brake pads. Most diesel fleets spend between $20,000 and $30,000 annually on maintenance. Electric fleets typically spend between $8,000 and $15,000. Over a decade, the savings become massive. Drivers also appreciate the semi for reasons that don't show up on spreadsheets. The electric drivetrain eliminates engine noise, delivering an extremely smooth, quiet ride. The lack of vibration and mechanical clatter reduces fatigue, which is a serious issue for long-haul truckers. PepsiCo drivers have consistently said that once they've driven the semi, they have no desire to go back to diesel. The driving experience itself becomes a major retention tool for employers. Tesla is planning for global rollout, but international expansion will present challenges. In markets like Australia, with regulations currently prevent the semi from being approved. Europe also poses difficulties because it prefers cab over designs that maximize cargo space and comply with tight length restrictions. The semi's current form is built around a US-style conventional layout, which means Tesla may need to redesign certain components for Europe. The central driving position is another concern. European trucks usually position the driver to one side to improve visibility and maneuvering. Tesla might eventually need to shift the steering position depending on the region. Sleeper cabins, which are essential in Europe, would also have to be added to compete effectively. Tesla will also have to scale its service network dramatically. Europe's existing commercial truck manufacturers already have extensive dealer and service networks. Tesla doesn't. 
And with brands like Volvo and Mercedes already deploying thousands of electric trucks across Europe, Tesla will be entering a competitive market rather than defining it from scratch. Still, Tesla holds several advantages. No European electric truck currently offers the semi's combination of range, efficiency, and potential autonomy. The Volvo FH electric tops out around 373 miles, and Mercedes Eactro 600 offers roughly 311 miles. Neither comes close to the semi's real-world consumption rates. But for Tesla to succeed globally, they must adapt the design, build infrastructure, overcome regulations, and expand service networks. Their technology is strong enough, but the support ecosystem must catch up. Thanks for watching, and if you made it this far, you're officially part of the few people who truly understand how massive this shift in trucking is going to be. The Tesla Semi isn't just another electric vehicle. It's rewriting the rulebook for the entire freight industry. And the story is only getting bigger from here. If you enjoyed the breakdown, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you never miss the next deep dive. We're just getting started. This is Device Dimension, bringing you the future before everyone else sees it as more fleet operators get hands-on experience with the semi. A surprising pattern is emerging. Drivers aren't just adapting to electric trucking, they're actively preferring it. The smooth acceleration, instant torque, and reduced cabin vibration create a driving environment completely different from diesel rigs that shake, rattle, and roar through every mile. For veterans who've spent decades behind a diesel engine, the silence alone feels like stepping into the future. And when you combine that with lower fatigue, better visibility, and a cockpit design more like a high-tech workstation than a traditional truck interior, it becomes clear why many say they'd rather switch companies than give up the semi once they've driven it. This shift in driver experience is something the industry never expected. For years, the debate around electric trucks focused only on cost, charging, and range. But now companies are learning that driver satisfaction might be the most underrated advantage of all. At a time when the trucking world faces constant labor shortages, higher turnover, and increasing burnout, the Tesla Semi is quietly solving a problem diesel manufacturers have ignored for decades. Stay curious, stay informed, and I'll catch you in the next one.